Hi guys, welcome back to the Blonde Psychic channel. I just have to drink water, I'm sorry. I am um, talking non-stop. I really shouldn't have pressed record. I just want to have a drink and clear my throat because I have been talking non-stop recording these. And um, my throat wasn't clear. Anyway, you don't need to know about that. Pisces, welcome to Pisces for July. My sons, both my sons are Pisces, little fishes. Teenagers going through the teenage stage of life. Let's see what it holds for them for July. So, please like, subscribe and share. Help my little channel grow. Connect with me on Facebook. Join my community. That is a lot of cards. I don't think we want to take them all, but we'll take some of them. Thank you. Yeah, on Facebook I do freeze. Freeze. I do lives. Live reads. Pick a cards. Things like that. All fun things. Today we are doing um, General Tarot for July 2020. Energy, Love, Charms, Oracle Cards. Let's get into it. Don't know why I just sang in a really weird voice then. <laughs> oh, yep, you can come out. No worries. You want to come out too? Oh, and beautiful. If any of you guys want to buy my decks, the link is below. I do use my own tarot decks. Um, oh, new beginning on the bottom of the deck. Death, it's over. New beginning for a lot of Pisces for July. Let's get into your reading. Okay, current situation, King of Cups. Showing up as the King of Cups, Pisces. In touch with your masculine side. Full of emotions. In touch with your emotions. Um... I feel like for a lot of you, this is a new emotional beginning in July. You've done wrong. You've realised you've done wrong. And you are taking, stepping up to the plate with this new king of emotions energy. Stepping up to the plate, taking responsibility for your actions and changing your mindset. That's what I'm getting for that card. Past energy. Three of Wands, the Moon and Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. You've got an intense relationship coming in here, a karmic soul relationship coming in here. Or you're like get in touch with your emotions because you've got king and queen of cups. And that's either a karmic relationship coming in. We don't know yet because I haven't revealed the rest of the cards. Karmic relationship, emotionally balanced, total fulfillment. Or it's just showing you totally balanced in your feminine and masculine side. You were deceitful to yourself. You were deceiving yourself, acting in a way you shouldn't be acting. I feel like you're very boisterous, very rambunctious. And you're stepping out of this and in July you're getting it more emotionally balanced within yourself. You were travelling, you were out a lot, you weren't paying attention to your family, you were only thinking about yourself. Thinking about your own needs, being boisterous, being rambunctious. This is what I'm getting. Completely changing this though and becoming more emotionally balanced and stable with this King and Queen of Cups energy. King of Wands. Lots of court cards for you guys. And Queen of Wands. What the hell? King, Queen of Wands. King, Queen of Cups. You guys. This never happened, I don't think. You have a huge karmic relationship coming in, a soulmate relationship. Four court cards. Wow. Total balance. Total maturity. Adventurous, fun. You're going to have a family with this person. This is talking about a new relationship. A soulmate, twin flame relationship. This is twin flame energy with four court cards. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. Um, yeah, Twin Flames coming in for you guys in July. If you're in a relationship, just know that there are options out there for you. You could accidentally meet your Twin Flame in July. Someone new is out there. And as I say, that Page of Swords, new ideas and inspiration. The page is all about gifts from the universe. You will be meeting your Twin Flame in July. And this is past and present energy, so it's going to happen first half of July. Oh, as I say that, wow. 
<clears throat> you've surrendered to your old way of life. You're not being boisterous and running amok anymore. You're letting that go. As I say, wow though, look, your future. New beginnings. Remember you got death as your end of deck card. New beginnings with the full take a chance. And look, ace of cups, new relationship. Ace is about gifts from the universe. The universe is giving you new new chance in love and a new relationship. Wow. You're going to be an intense, intense new relationship, guys. And commitment. Eight of pentacles, outcome card. Commitment. It is about money pentacles, but this is more about your relationship. Going to be committed. Going to be a twin flame karmic relationship that is coming in for you. How exciting. Since we're on the subject of love, let's see. Oh, look, I've got an energy card wrapped up in a love card. I wonder if that was meant to happen. Let me read that for you guys. Happy families. I'm going to take that as a sign. This is a twin flame love relationship. That's a happy family card for you guys right there. Releasing your ex. Maybe that's some of the deception as well. Some of you haven't let go of your ex. You need to heal completely. Get rid of that energy before you can, the universe will allow you to meet this new twin flame. I feel like a lot of you have done that though. Maybe they're in your subconscious mind. But <gasps> very soon. Very soon. I told you it's going to happen very soon. And look. Wedding. This person is your twin flame. You're going to get married to them. They're going to be your wish fulfillment. Your happiness. Your everything. Pisces. How exciting. Remember this doesn't apply to everyone. My thumbs are 16 and 17. They're not going to. They may meet someone that they'll marry eventually. But. They're so young, I'm not going to let them get married straight away. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness. Growth. I love when the cards back me up, because look, twin flame. This person that the universe is bringing into your life is your twin flame. They're meant to be your soul partner in life. Wow. Thank you, universe, for backing me up. Taking one for the team there, showing up. My God, the year is showing up in droves today. Okay, energy cards. You already got one. And second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Archangel Ariel is with you on your journey. Pray to him if you have any problems through this journey. But also look up um, second chakra, how to heal that as well. Get any more energy cards. Community. See? Celebration. Community. You might even meet this person out in the community because everything's opening up now, guys, from COVID. Get out in the community. That's where I feel you're going to meet this person. All right. Let's get some charms. See if there's any other messages the universe wants to give to you. All right. Yep. So on the moon, you've got abundance. So by releasing your past energy and your deceitfulness, you do walk into this new phase of life. Okay. You've got commitment. Of course the wedding ring, engagement ring showed up. You've got commitment on the king of wands. On your court cards. Wow. On the queen of wands. So the feminine energy is huge. you got abundance. you got the pineapple. And the pussycat. Playful times, lots of great sex with this person, sweet, adventurous times, and also you got the glasses, so you see clearly. Once you meet this person, you'll be instantly attracted to them, and you'll know. And you got the star, so wish fulfilled. This person is your other half, they are your twin flame, it is meant to be. That is a crazy reading for you guys. Pisces, a very positive twin flame. I'm so excited for you fast gonna happen congratulations thank you so much for watching this um i will be doing love readings later on in the month um yeah i'm speechless like you're gonna get your wish fulfilled with this person remember if you are in a relationship take what resonates maybe there's parts of it that you grow and you mature in your relationship so take what resonates 
this was a clear message for somebody leave what doesn't resonate and yeah i look forward to reading for you again thank you so much take care bye